Yan po. Um, once again po, good afternoon po sa lahat. Please feel free to share our live for today para po ma-view po ng ating mga students and parents and other viewers as well. Ayan po. So sa mga teachers po from De La Paz Diputad High School, um, good afternoon everyone. Pwede na po natin i-share sa ating mga uh, GC group chat with our uh, students. And also, don't forget po to use our hashtag, hashtag DPLHS National Reading Month 2021. Ayan po. Um, good afternoon po. And also, don't forget po to use... Ayan. So, to our students, feel free din po to comment down your name and section para po ma-recognize tayo ng ating mga advisors. So your participation um, uh, with our culminating activity for today is very important para po ma-recognize um, ma din po natin yung mga students po natin who joined and participated with our activities. So, ayun po, good afternoon po sa ating lahat. Hashtag DPLHS National Reading Month 2021. So use our hashtag po. Ayan, so may mga, may mga nag-comment na pong ilan. Ayan, um, mag-shoutout muna tayo. Hello po. Kay Ma'am Lynn Cruz, Ma'am Linda, Ma'am Maribeth, Ma'am Van, Sir Marvin, Ma'am Jenny, Ma'am Cecil, Nicole Tiglao, Stephanie Anisete from Ten Hope, Luisa Gilhang from Nine St. Luke, Aina Pineda from Ten Hope, Leslie, Anton, Ramirez, John Eldrick, Julius Siambao, Jeneline Nagyet, Espiritu Heidi, Princess Muñez from Eleven Gas, Altea Sichon, Nina Kito, and Princess Anna Marie. So, so far, ilan na ba yung viewers natin? And so far, we have we already have seventy three viewers, and I think um, we are good to go. Pwede na po tayo magstart. So along the um, along the program, um, you have the freedom po na magcomment pa rin, even though we are we are already starting. Ayan, so for today, for today's virtual celebration, I am Ma'am Joan S. Escobedo, your Master of Ceremony for today. So this um, culminating activity is part of the celebration of the La Paz Liputat High School of the National Reading Month, celebration um, 2021 with the theme, Bawat Bata Bumabasa sa Kabila ng Pandemia. So this is still very important. Same with um, previous school year, right? Um, we celebrated despite of um, the pandemic, despite of the situation that we are in. So um, last year, we were able to uh, successfully celebrate National Reading Month with um, different activities. So if you still remember, we have TikTok challenge um, and other activities. So this time, I know yung mga nag, nakipag-participate nakipag -participate sa ating um, activities really enjoyed. And um, na-feel talaga nila na this month is National uh, Reading Month Celebration. So to start with, um, as saying goes, so before we start pala, I would like to share this, um, to share this, uh, co quote. So, sabi po nila, as the saying goes, uh, 
um, a man who re uh, who reads a lot live a thousand thousand lives, and a man who never reads lived only one. So do you believe na pwede po tayong um, mabuhay uh, with different um, with Mga different ito. lives, with different characters na gusto po natin as long as we are reading. So um, through reading, we were able to explore, to journey, and to um, visit different places just with reading. So to start with, to formally start our virtual celebration, let's have the singing of Lupang Hinirang to be followed by an opening prayer to be led by Ma'am Fatima Lozano and the singing of our DPLHS hymn. So, Sir Jeff? Bayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ating damhin ang presensya ng Panginoon para sa isang patatayin itin na panalangin. Sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Panginoon, anong Diyos naming makapangyarihan, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa araw nito. Dahil kami nagkasama-sama at nagkatipon-tipon para sa program ng ito. Nawa ay gabayan nyo kami sa pagpapamalas ng kakayahan ng bawat isa at sa pagpapahayag ng aming saloobin. Basbasan mo po kami ng inyong pagmamahal, lalong-lalo na ang mga kabataang aming tinuturuan. Sa mga magulang na walang sawang gumagabay sa kanila at sa mga gurong walang humpay na nagtatrabaho upang may bahagi ang kanilang karunungan. Nawa ay maging matagumpay ang programang ito at kapulutan ng aral ng bawat isa sa amin. Panalangin namin ang lahat ng ito sa ngalan ng iyong bugtong na anak na si Yesus. Amen. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. So thank you so much, Ma'am Fat. So once again, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon, De La Paz, Libutat High School um, teachers parents, learners, and the rest of our viewers for this day. So once again po, happy National Reading Month um, 2021. So feel free po to use our hashtag, hashtag DPLHS National Reading Month 2021. So um, before we start, let us hear um, some thoughts to ponder to be given by the head teacher in English, none other than Ma'am Beatrice D. Kito. Let's give her a virtual clap. So, Ma'am Bea, please take it away. Okay, good afternoon po to everyone. Hoping and praying that you are all safe and in good condition 
to God, grace and guidance. This is a month of November, a month to motivate all ages to read every day. I know you will agree with me that reading is a skill, a skill that is developed over time. I must say that we should engage ourselves in continuous reading in order for us to develop this skill. Read is fun, remember, and has many benefits regardless of your age. Reading opens our minds and hearts to know new places and dimensions. Furthermore, reading allows us to communicate effectively with others. It is a key component of education and professional development. Again, even in this pandemic, reading won't stop us from moving on. To our dear students and colleagues, let us develop our passion, our love for reading. And moving forward despite of this pandemic. I'm proud for all of us here not giving up because this has been an easy at all. We know God has a plan and I and I am trusting for better days ahead. Thank you very much and happy watching po. God bless. Thank you so much, Ma'am Bea, for that um, amazing uh, thoughts to ponder. So as Ma'am Bea said, so sabi ni Ma'am Bea, reading is a skill. So therefore, um, when we say skill, kailangan it takes time in order to develop, to be developed. So um, in order for our reading skills to be to be developed, so of course, kailangan ngayon pa lang we practice reading. So um, since we are still um, in pandemic, so let's take advantage of our time at home to expand our knowledge through reading. So thank you so again, thank you so much, Ma'am Bea. So this time to welcome us virtually, um, to this uh, program, let's our have hard -working the department heads, message coming from our advisors, principal, Ma'am Sh Ma Sharon R. Carino. To our hard-working department heads, dedicated advisors, unfatigable teachers, Reading Month Celebration team, dear parents, and of course to our beloved learners of De La Paz Neighborhood High School, Happy and blessed afternoon po to all of you. I would like to commend our organizer for this activity, the Reading Man Celebration Team, headed by Ma'am Bea Kito and Ma'am Leticia Diaz. Salamat po kaya kayo man. Salamat Ma'am Joan for moderating and to our technical facilitator, Sir Jeff, for hosting our activity. I hope everyone listening is in good health at nasa mabuting kalagayan po. Although nandyan pa rin po ang pandemic, doble ingat po, ingatan po natin ang ating sarili. Let me start po with these beautiful words by Dr. Seuss and I quote, The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. This famous quote of Dr. Seuss is itself a motivation of need to develop a genuine love for reading. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all in our virtual National Reading Month celebration with the team Bawat Bata Bumabasa sa Kabila ng Pandemia, organized, of course, by our English and Filipino teachers. This annual celebration of Reading Month will continuously be monitored and even in the blended learning approach, learners will be applying the strategies in reading with comprehension. For all we know, we are aware that we are in the second year of our non-face-to-face -face classes due to this pandemic. And we know the limitation and challenges we experience during this time of pandemic, especially in the teaching and learning process. 
However, even there are some limitation in, in our current teaching and learning setting or arrangement in our school. But still, this is not an excuse not to pursue quality basic education, especially in the development of our reading skills. For all we know, reading skills is very essential. Reading is basically a life skill. It occupies a high place of significant child's learning and professional growth. This activity aims to engage learners in le regular reading sessions, to strengthen the value of education to teachers and learners, to show the learners hidden talent and potentials, to develop unity and cooperation with the group, to increase independent reading level, to build a community literate and individuals, and support learning through visualization. I would like to extend my utmost appreciation and valuable recognition to our teachers. And of course, despite of the challenges of the pandemic, but still we could continue the teaching learning process as much as we can to all our learners. With that, po, thank you and God bless to all of us. Good afternoon. Po. Thank you so much, Ma'am Sharon, uh, Ma'am Sha, for that uh, recorded message to all of us. So thank you for sending us a warm welcome for this uh, virtual celebration. So um, once again, po, um, good afternoon, everyone. So I would like to acknowledge the uh, presence of our learners who joined us today. So I hope you will stay with us until the end of this uh, program. So this is just a quick and a summary of the entire uh, celebration of the La Paz Diputat High School for the National Reading Month. So later on, um, there will be a presentation of activities and um, the and videos of our learners, videos and pictures of our learners and parents who joined the um, activities for um, National Reading Month. So, I hope you are all doing well. So, sabi nga po natin, reading is a skill. So, therefore, um, para ma-achieve yung skill na yun, we have to practice. And as early as now, kailangan, um, from time to time, we uh, equip ourselves with books, with reading materials, and different uh, resources. So, despite of the pandemic, DPLHS and... Uh, Filipino and English department make it possible to celebrate um, even though virtual lang yung um, celebration natin for today. And we are looking forward na ma-celebrate na natin to face-to-face. Uh, -face. So now let's proceed to the presentation of activities. So this is an audio prepared audiovisual presentation of different activities. Um, for this um, celebration. So, um, Sir Jeff and Ma'am D, pwede na po tayo mag-start. Ayan po. Thank you. 
Okay, so thank you so much, Ma'am D. So um, those are just some of pictures um, submitted to us by our learners, parents, and teachers um, who have joined and participated in the National Reading Month um, celebration. So your activity po natin is quiet reading. So time for reading and expanding our knowledge through a quiet time of reading. So thank you so much sa mga learners and parents and teachers who um who participated so this just proved that in tplhs everyone reads so everyone is a reader sa de la paz liputan high school so this time um at this point um let's watch the prepared um video of storytelling time um to be presented by um filipino teacher in senior high school none other than we have Ma'am Lourdes P. Espino. Magandang araw! Handa na ba kayong makinig? Oras na para sa ating kwento. Ano ang special na ninyong lolo ang kaya mong lutubin? Nakaisip ko na ba ng sino? Hindi pa. Ito yung sa ating babasaan ng kwento ngayong umago ito at pinagagatang lolo tatay, Chris Millet, Nairo, Dojo Cruz. May isang tradisyon ng ating pamilya tuwing Pasko. Kailangan ay kumukuno ng pagkain ang labisa. Kaya naman, aakalain mo na masusunod ang aming kusina sa dami ng inilulupo ni Lolo Patay. Ako ang katulong ni Lolo Patay sa paghahanda ng mga pagkakit. Pansit, minudo, fried chicken, spaghetti, macaron salad, at si Kuya naman ay nakaabang lagi makaka si may iuto si Lolo Patay na bilang sabindahan na nakalimutan niya ng hindi. Si Bukso naman, nakatitig na lamang sa mga regalo sa ilalim ng Christmas tree. Hindi na siya magpakali sa aming mga regalo sa kanya. Gusto na niya agad-agad na bukasan na ng mga regalo. Pansit kasi sabi ni Lolo Tatay pang pahaba ng buhay, fried chicken para sa aming lahat. Menudo, hiling ni Kuya, spaghetti, paborito ni Bukso, macaron salad para sa aming lahat, at alpon, na inaabangan namin lahat. Ito kasi ang specialty ni Lolo Tatay. Inaral ko ang pagluluto ni Lolo Tatay ng Morgon. Sa bawat taon na akala ko ay nasusunog ang aming kusina sa dami ng pagkain ni Luluto, ako ang laging pagkakulong ni Lolo Tatay sa pagkakalala ng putake. Nabisado ko na ang pagkakulong ng Morgon. Yung tamang nipis ng hiwa at higa ng kami ng baka. Tamang dami ng toyo at tamang dami ng lime juice. Tamang tagal na pagbabakal. Sa loob, maayos na nilalagay ang peso, details, at 
lumulong at hapok ikang pali ito ng matulog na mainan. Ipulong sa harina at ipulito ng bahagya. At pagkatapos, ilalagay sa malaking kasirwala. Papakulungan ito sa pinaglagaan ng kanya ng baka. Ihiwain ito ni Lolo Tatay kapag malamig na doon na. Sakto na lang siya buwena. Pero, kakaiba ang nangyari ngayong Pasko sa aking pamilya. Tumawag si Papa at si Mama sa akin. Tinanong si Kuya, sabi ko, nasa niyang kwarto ka. Tinanong si Bunso, sabi ko, malukot na. Tinanong nila ako, wala akong nasabi sa kanila tungkol sa akin. Tumukul ko na lang ako sa kanila. Nasa Italy si Papa at si Mama. Si Lolo at tayo ang nagpalaki sa aking magkakapatid. May kakaiba sa limalapit na Noche Puebla. Walang pansit ni Lolo at tayo na pagpahaman ng buhay, ang chicken para sa aking lahat, ng mundo na hiling kuya, spaghetti na hiling bunso, makaroon salad para sa aking lahat, Ito ng murpong na pinakainaabangan namin lahat kung darating ang Pasko. Puno na rin ang mga regalo na matatanggap ng bunso. Tahimik na rin ang aming busina na aangkalain mo noong nakalipas na taon ay masusunod sa dami ng inilulubo. Anak, palakasin mo loob ng mga kapatid mo. Uuwi na kami pagkaraan ng bagong taon. Lalakasin ang loob ng mga kapatid ko? Paano ko naman lalakasin ang loob ni Kuya at ni Bukso? Tinignan ko ang kusina na akala mo noong isang taon ay masusunod sa dami ng inyuruto. Mahalala ko ang specialty ni Lolo Tatay na alam ko na kung paano nalutuli. Pinuksan ko ang ref namin. Naalala ko ang sari ni Lolo noong nakikita. Nakaraang linggo, anong mga regado para sa burkod natin ako? Kompleto na. Dagdag niya. Kahit siguro hindi mo tulong ang pagkain ng aming mesa, may isa akong patahe ng kayang lukuhin para sa aming tatlo. Pabistado ko na ang pagluluto ng burkod. Ilabas ko na ang mga kailangan. Tama ni Islam Kiwa at Tugya ng Karinang Baka. Tamang dami ng toyo at tamang dami ng lime juice. Sa loob, maayos na inilalagay ang keso, pitlaws, itlog at hotdog. Tapos, inalagay sa malaking kasirwala. Papakulungan nito sa pinaglagaan ng kanilang baka. Bukas sa kanyang kwarto si Kuya. Hindi ka ba nagulog, Lara? Ano na? So, si Kuso, Hindi pa rin may naaamoy ako pa sa bahay, ate. Kaya sabi ni Bunso, Kain na tayo, kaya mo. Ulat na umila sa bulkon na nakita nila sa isang pinakaro na maayos na maayos kong kiniwa para sa amin tatlo. May kakain sa alam at siya buwan na. Walang pansin, sabi ni Lolo Tatay, mahaba ng buhay. Walang kaibigan para sa ating lahat. Walang minudo, hiling kuya. Walang spaghetti, hiling ibuso. Walang macaroni salad para sa ating lahat. Pero may morkot na pinakainaabangan natin na ni Tatlo. Kung na rin ang isa, ang lugar na natin na ating lahat. Hmm. Paano mo na ito ang special team? Kakay, Lara. Parang hindi naman nawala si Lolo Tatay, ate, kuya. Sabi ni Puso ko, sana kahit paano, matukad ko ang bilin ni Mama at Papa sa akin. May Puso Buena, kahit pa paano, ay mapalakas ko ang loob ng mga kabatid ko. Mamanaw na si Lolo Tatay. Pero hindi ang mga alaala ng aming pamilya ko sa kung darating ang Noche Buena. Isang tradisyon ng aming pamilya tuwing Pasko. Kailangan, unang puno ng pagkain ang ating mesa. Hindi mo napatuloy ang tradisyon ito ngayong Pasko, pangako ko kay Kuya at kay Puso, hindi mo wawala ang orkon na special tinio na natay.
Okay, so thank you so much, Ma'am Lu, for the effort um, given to in order to execute that storytelling time. So thank you so much, Ma'am Lu, for accepting the um, demand of your uh, Filipino and English department. So this time naman po, we will have the presentation of um, videos of our learners who joined the in-character reading. So Ma'am D., Please, pwede na po tayo mag-play. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, spreading Good day, everyone. Brianna Briggs Espan, representative of Grade 7. Today, I will read you a story about Aladdin. Once, there lived a poor widow and her son, Aladdin. One day, Aladdin's uncle, Mustafa, came to visit them. He said, Sister, why don't you let Aladdin come and work for me? He agreed, and Mustafa looked Aladdin along with him. They walked in the desert and came to a cave. The cave was full of riches and treasures, but Mustafa was afraid to go inside. He wanted Aladdin to go in and get him the treasure instead to go inside. Commanded Mustafa and find me the jewels. We will also find a lock. Bring it. Aladdin went inside and found more riches than he could ever imagine. He found a beautiful ring and wore it on his finger. He also collected as many gems as he could. But before he could come out of the cave, Mustafa said, Quick, just hand me all the jewels and the lamp. Aladdin refused and we had their feast. His poor uncle blocked the entrance of the cave and left. Oh. Aladdin sat in the dark and cried. Then he saw the old lamp and decided to light it. While playing it, he rubbed the lamp and out a came a gene. Master, I shall grant you their three wishes, he said. Aladdin said, take me home in seconds. Aladdin was with his mother, counting the gems he had brought from the cave. Aladdin also brought the ring along with him, and when he rubbed it, out came another gene. Master, I shall grant you three wishes. Said the genie, make us rich and happy, said Aladdin. And Aladdin and his mother live happily. Jay Ramon, Pea Maridan, Eskim Nita, Pangap Sumita, Kuyong Ho Kaje, Hanko Ho, Nung Yokshi, Komul Vihan, Hanko Ho, Kyujun Kyoje. Ori po yang on so puda konsiga mal tayo. Nashit yo yang hagi video hagi. Chon min shi, pak gul po sayo. Jigong lo ni wayo. Pua shin kieyo. Ako po si Rimar V. De Jesus, grade 8. Florante at Laura. Ipinagaman ni Laura si salita at gawa ang pagmamahal niya sa asintahan bago ito lumapat sa dimbahan. Halina, Laura ko. Halina, Laura, aking kailangan. Ngayon ang linap mo ng nakunang araw, ngayon hiningi ang iyong pagdamay ang habang sinta mo'y nasa kanapay. At ngayong malaki ang aking dalita ay di kumanap ng maraming duwa. Sukat ang kapatak na makakula kung saan ay pagsinta ang puso mo ay magbukla. Katawan ko ngayon siya sa ating baby, tingnan ang sugat kong di gawa ng kalis. Ugasan ang dugong kumulo sa gitgit ng kamay ko pa at nataling lilit. Every great teacher in history has started out as nothing more than what they are now. So guys, if they can do it, why not us? Is Petrum Petronum! And Andre Nicolai Pineda, Pilgrim President of Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling.
Unless they had them, why should I fear the dark? When the nice people who are in the song are far more terrifying. Never assume that love is strong and quiet is weak. Yes, but I was forget, and I hope you know I lost my respect. I am responsible for what they say and not for what you are doing. Do you believe in evil? You severely underestimate my opinion and alienate my opinion. The best thing I've done taught me that it's okay to be different. Just own who you are, stay in my city, find your child and stick by that. Thank you. Happy National Reading Month. Hindi maaari ang yun na isip ng panaka. Sabagat ako yung may asawa na, ang pinakamamahal kong si Sita. Ako si Rama, ang nagawin ang lahat may ligtas lang ang aking pinakamamahal na si Sita. Naksumanan, parang awa mo na. Ligtas mo si Rama. Maraming gusto mong mamatay siya upang ikaw ang maging pari. Ano naman si Sita? Nga nga akong maging tapat kailanman sa aking asawa ang si Rama. Hindi nga hindi ko siya pagpapalit sa kahit anong mga sumabi o kalamanan. Ako ba? Ay lagi mong naaalala? O sa dyan naging makakalimutin ka na nang dahil sa mga nagagandang dilag na iyong nakilala sa iyong paglalakbay. Ako po, si Jocelle M. Masilio, nagmula sa Grand Charity. Nare-representa si Maria Clara na nagmula sa libro Noli ni Pangkereng. Akin pong babasahin ang ikapitong kabanata. Suyuan sa asotea. Hindi mo palagay si Maria Clara mukha nang makagalit sa simbahan kasama ang kanyang tiya ang sotea. Pagkatapos ng misa, ay agad itong nagayang umumi na agad ng bahay. Naramdaman ni Maria Clara ang pagdaramdam ni Tia Isabel sapagkat naniniwala ito sa kanyang pagkamadang sa alin. Sinadyahan pa rin ni Tito ang puling panalangin. Pagkawarin ako ng Diyos na higit na nakakaunawa ng aking kalooban bilang babae. Hinintay ni Maria Clara ang pagdating ni Ibarra at ang pagdalaw nito sa kanilang bahay. Anong pihit siya sa tuwing may magdara ang sasakyan sa tapat ng kanilang bahay? Sa pag-asam na ito ang kanyang hinihitay. Si Tia Isabel ay abala sa pag-iimis ng kala na dulot ng nandaang kasiyahan. Samantalong panayang bukla ni Kapitan Chago sa kanyang mga papeles. Napansin ni Kapitan Chago ang pangmutla ng mukha ng anak. Mas makabubuti nga siguro ang magbaksyong tamo. Nga, para makalakad ng sariwang hangin. Saan mo gusto ng bakasyon? Sa Malabon o San Diego? Nagpigilan si Maria Clara dahil sa sinabi ng ama. Lalo po siyang kinabahan ng marinig ang bayan ng San Diego. Ang mabuti pa siguro ay bumalik na kayo ng Tia Isabel mo sa Biyotaryo. At kunin na ang lahat ng iyong damit. Hindi ka na babalik doon, kaya magpaalam ka na ng tuluyan sa mga kaibigan mo. Ano pa ng ama? Sa San Diego na lamang dahil mas malaki ang bahay doon at isa pa'y malapit na ang pista. Sa bed ni Tia Isabel. Ikaw pala, Don Crisosto mo. Bulalas ni Kapitan Chago. Napatda si Maria Clara lalo nang marinig ang tinig niyang pinatong bagong titig. Patakbo siyang nagtungo sa silid kasalan. Napangiti na lamang si Nakapitan Chago at Tia Isabel dahil sa iginaling ng dalaga. Mahal ko ang aking bayan. Dahil tutang ko dito ay pag-iikutang pa ang aking kaligayaan. Ako, si Prince Egan de Yonder Ariano ng Care Love, nilerepresenta ang bandila ng isang pumbaitang. At gimagala bila kung sa Somo Ibarra, sika na nabelang Noli Metangale na ating pagbasang bayani na si Dr. Jose Rizal. Ako sa kung sa Somo, nila sa akal ng mga Ibarra. Ako ay nakakaan sa Europa ng ilang taon upang tulungan ang aking mga kababayan. Ako ay nakapagpapayo ng paaralan upang ang mga bata sa aming bayan ay makapag-aral. Iniitig ko ang aki 
bisita si Maria Clara. Lahat ay ang gagawin hindi lang para sa kanya, kundi pati na rin sa bayan ko, Pilipinas. Yung lalang, maraming salamat. In English, it says, I don't believe someone to be more powerful than others. Everybody is equal. And that's a famous quote. I am Bewan Sander, in the famous card series, The Gifted. I am 16 years old and a great student from Renta High School. I am the first student who entered the Gifted program. I have a special ability which is I can manipulate my platform by touch. A principal want to take advantage of a special gift, but I won't let him do that. I certainly believe that despite how special I am and my ability is, everyone should be treated equally. I appreciate the young Arya group from Canada representing the flag of Great Death and participating in the National Reading Month. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
kaalaman niya ang uri ng paggalang at pagpapakilala. Mga panaunin, ako nga pala si Juan Pesos na mga iba ay magsalin. Anak ni Don Rafael, lumaki sa San Diego. Masaya ako dahil ako yung muling magbabalik na sa aking inambayan sa loob ng pitong taong pag-aaral sa Europa. Huwag po sana kayong magkamali na nakalimutan ko na ang bayang ito. Sa katunayan ay lagi ko iniisip ito araw-araw sa aking pagmuhay sa Europa. Hindi sila at umuwi ako upang malaman ang pagkamatay ng aking ama. At nalaman ko kay Tineta Guevara ang kinahantungan ng aking ama. Nakulong siya dahil tinulungan lamang niya ang musmus mula sa malupit na kolektor. Mga walang awa ka sila. Nakulong ang aking ama, gayon ginawa lapang niya ang tama. Wala rin akong magagawa pa dahil itik nangyari na. Ngunit na wala sa dilipayit na iyon na aking makita ang aking mahal. Ngunit sabi niya sa akin, nakalimutan ko raw siya. Maaari ko ba siyang kalimutan? Maria, talaga napakaswerte ko dahil ikaw ang aking nakikala. Ika labing isa ng Nobyembre, pista ng San Diego de Alcala. Maraming bisita. May katuwaan, kainan, tuktugan, pagtok, at muro-muro. Sa kabilang banda, laking pangsalamat ko kay Elias nang ako iligtas niya sa isang kugatang ka sa aking buhay. Ngunit naig pa rin ang tapang nabitag ang aking mga kalaban sa kanilang mga bitag. Isa naman pagkakataon, tapang lamang abang ko sa isang bastos na parin ito. Dahil sa kawalang respeto niya sa aking ama. Ngunit sa bugsong iyon, ay tuluyang naputol ang aming ugnayan ni Maria. Nakulong ako, ngunit hindi makukulong kailanman ang katotohanan. Salamat sa aking kaibigan na si Elias nang ako'y kanyang tinulungan sa pagtakas mula sa kulungan. Ngunit sa kanyang kabayanihan, buhay niya ang naging kapalit. Muli, ako si Juan Crisostomo Ibarra I. Magsay. Yes. 
Okay, so thank you so much, um, Ma'am D, for presenting uh, all the videos submitted to us. So I'm sure um, this is a proud moment, especially sa mga learners natin na nag-participate and who exerted effort from acting, from the costumes, talagang yung iba, nag-produce sila ng costume nila, naghanap sila ng costume sila in order to portray the character that they are um trying to impersonate and from um from the creativity and up to the editing of the video editing process of the video and up to the finished product so it's such an amazing work of our learners so imagine for i think two days preparation so or a day before the for this before this um virtual um, celebration so doon lang po sila na inform and from that moment nag start na sila mag produce and and video themselves with the uh, in character reading so thank you so much po sa ating mga learners so i'm sure um while watching yourselves kanina habang pineplay yung video nyo it feels overwhelming right so so once again, congratulations po, and thank you so much for the participation. So ang daming mga nag-comment, and um, they are really proud sa mga learners, sa mga Adela Passions natin. So um, thank you. Thank you, um, dear advisors, um, English and Filipino teachers, and of course, um, this will not be possible if wala yung mga learners natin na nag-participate. So, thank you, thank you so much po. And that uh, concludes all the um, all the activities for our sound for our um, virtual celebration. So, this time po, we are now in the last part of our program. So, here is Ma'am Leticia F. Diaz, Master Teacher in Filipino, to give us the closing ah, remarks. Walang sound. Sige po, Ma'am Lep. Hello. Hello. Ma'am Joanne, dinig ba ko? Okay, walang yes po, Ma'am Lep. Okay, good afternoon. Ako na ba? O, ako na. Okay, good afternoon po sa lahat. Uh, gusto ko pong magpasalamat sa lahat ng nag-effort para sa uh, virtual celebration ng leading month na ito. Salamat po ng marami sa mga nag-share ng kanilang picture para sa reading, no? Okay, sa mga teachers, sa mga students, no? Talagang uh, pinatunayan po natin na hindi magiging tagumpay ang isang gawain kung hindi tayo magtutulong-tulong. So, congratulations po sa ating lahat uh, at magandang buhay. Yun lang po at uh, salamat ng marami. Okay? Thank you and mabuhay. Thank you, Ma'am Joanne. Thank you, Ma'am Bea, Ma'am Diane. Uh, thank you sa lahat, Ma'am Jamie, Sir G. Pril, Ma'am Lou, sa lahat ng nag-effort. Thank you po din sa ating principal na patuloy na nang sumusuporta sa atin. Yun lang po, maraming salamat. Okay? Thank you so much, Ma'am Let. Um, thank you so Thank you again thank you sa mga participants po. for this program. So, um, from DPLHS family, 
for from the um, admin, from the teachers, parents, and learners na nakipag-participate po. And this will not be possible if wala po yung mga magagaling na teachers from English and Filipino department. So, of course, um, although um, super short lang po yung preparation natin for this uh, program, na iraos po natin and um, the program was successful indeed. So, once again po, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga learners na nag-submit ng kanilang mga entries from the pictures and videos na sinend po nila sa atin. Um, that is very um, um, overwhelming to uh, see our learners na nag-effort sa kanilang costume, sa kanilang acting skills, and um, sa kanilang editing skills. So, di ba? Um, that, um, that is what creativity uh, makes. So, with that simple, with simple gratitude and appreciation to all the uh, people behind this. So, once again po, thank you so oh, much. Yeah. From our...